got here. Buying a house with a septic tank. All right, so we're gonna look at, we're gonna be looking what you need to do, what you need to know rather, if you're buying a house that has a septic tank. All right, so buying a house with a septic tank, that's what I'm gonna be discussing now. And I'm also gonna be discussing uh, what you need to do if you're selling right a house all right so we're also going to be looking at what you need to know if you're selling your house with a septic tank so yeah so those are the questions i'm answering yes so i've got that right buying a house all right so let me first of all where's my uh, rubber <laughs> Got my uh, rubber here. All right, so let's start with buying a house with a septic tank. So let's say that you've never had a house with a septic tank before. Maybe you own a house with a septic tank and you're buying another house with a septic tank. You've got all these new rules and regulations coming into force on the 1st of Jan 2020. So what do you need to do? If, if you were buying my house or I was buying your house, and your house had a septic tank, <clears throat> what do I need to know? All right, so let's just start with the basics, right? So your solicitor, when you uh, instruct him to um, purchase, help purchase your property, he will ask, the people of the house that you're buying certain questions, okay? He'll ask them, you know, uh, questions about the house, dum de dum de dum de dum Now, when it comes to the septic tank, right, this is what you need to get him to ask, right? The certain questions, so he'll have, he'll have stock questions which he'll ask about the sewage. For example, he'll say, is your house connected to the main drainage? Um, what kind of sewage system um, have you got? You know, as I said, is it main drainage or is it off main drainage? If it's off main drainage, he'll say, what system have you got? Have you got a septic tank? Have you got a cesspool, a cesspit, a sewage treatment plant, et cetera, et cetera. So he will ask um, the people of the house that you're looking to buy certain stock questions, but you need to ask additional questions to the questions that your solicitor is asking and this will help you understand a lot more about the, the septic tank or the sewage system which is installed in the house that you're looking to buy because i'm just working on the premise let's pretend you you don't know what a septic tank is well let me just quickly explain a septic tank all the poo and we goes into a septic tank and bath water and dishwasher and uh, it goes into there and the poo and the wee and the fat and the grease and the sludge build up in the septic tank and then all the liquid soaks away into a soak away. So that's a really simple understanding of how a septic tank and soak away work. All right. But you're not interested really in how it works. You want to know certain things about the condition of that septic tank. So there's certain questions. Right. So let's put this right. Questions to ask. OK, so questions. Questions, <laughs> be great if I could spell. <laughs> let me just try that again, all right? So let me do that again. All right, the first thing you've got to learn is how to spell, right? So questions to ask. <clears throat> and these questions will save you a lot of time, a lot of hassle, and a lot of money, all right? So question number one. First question you need to ask is, what sewage system sewage system does the house have okay so we know it's off mains okay you've established already that it's an off maiden sewage system so you're not connected to the main drainage. we know that 
right? But now you're asking, what sewage system does the house have? So is it a septic tank or is it a sewage treatment plant, right? And that matters because, for example, if it's an electric sewage treatment plant, then there's certain things that you need to know. So, for example, um, with an electric sewage treatment plant, you're going to have an electricity bill every year, 1,000, 1,500 quid, something like that. You're going to have to get it serviced every year. All right, so these are the kind of differences between, the subtle differences between a septic tank and a sewage treatment plant that you need to find out. And by asking these questions, by asking these questions, by the time I've given you this list and you've asked them, you'll have full understanding and be fully appraised of what you're getting yourself into. OK, so what sewage system does the house have? All right. So next question. What is it made from? <clears throat> All right. So what is the sewage system that you're looking to buy what's it made from is it made from <clears throat> um, fiberglass is it made from plastic is it made from um, bricks is it made from cement is it made from concrete is it made from um, HDPE, high poly, high density polyethylene. You know, there's a there's there's about ten or, or, or twelve different kind of materials that the septic tank or the sewage treatment plant could be made from. You know, is it just a hole in the ground? So, what's it made from? All right. So, once you've ascertained that, you now need to ascertain the capacity. Capacity. capacity of it so why is that important well because the government have legislation regarding the size of sewage systems so just to give you a quick example the uk government state that on a domestic property the size or the capacity of the septic tank must be at least 2800 liters okay 2800 liters so if you learn that the capacity is 1,000 litres or 1,500 litres, then you know that the septic tank installed into the house in which you're buying is illegal, according to the Secretary of State, according to building regs. So obviously now you know that, then you can obviously say, well, hey, look, you know, I'm buying this house, the septic tank that is attached to your house isn't man enough, it isn't of a legal size, we need to replace it. To replace it is going to cost X amount of money. Um, let's say it was going to cost you, I don't know, eight, nine, ten thousand quid to replace the system. You can then say, look, you know, we've got three quotes here, uh, ten thousand quid. Uh, we want to reduce the price of your house by ten thousand quid because that's what we're going to have to fork out after we buy your house. So you, you see where I'm going with all these questions, can't you? So so, okay, what two systems does the house have? What's it made from the capacity of it? All right, now, you need to ask where does it discharge to? <clears throat> Again, a very important question, where does it discharge to? Because if your septic tank discharges into a water course such as a ditch, a river, a brook, a stream, a culvert, whatever, if it, it will be illegal from the 1st of Jan 2020. And that's of serious concern to you because what's the point of buying a house where the sewage system that is, is connected to it is illegal, right? So where does it discharge to? Okay, so you could also add to that, is it close to a watercourse all right so where does it discharge to is it close to a watercourse and that's very very important because from the first of jan as i just said if it goes directly into a watercourse or it's within 45 feet of a watercourse it will then become illegal so again if it's illegal you can approach the people and say hey look your septic tank is going to be illegal in five months time um 
we need to replace it. It's going to cost 15 grand, 10 grand, 15 grand, whatever it is to relocate it, to redo it. We need to knock the price of your house down accordingly. Okay, so these are very, very important questions. Next question you need to know is the condition of the septic tank or the sewage treatment plant. And attached to that, you can also put how often is it maintained? You could even put under there or serviced. All right, maintained. How often can you still see that on the board? Yeah. How often is it maintained or serviced? And that's very, very important because, right? Septic tanks should be sucked out or desludged every year. <clears throat> Some people lift their lid and see the septic tanks full of water and they think, oh my gosh, we've got to get it empty. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. Septic tank is always full of water. That's how they work. They're always three quarters full or more. No, what we're saying is over the course of the year, all the fat and the grease and the sludge build up in a septic tank. And it has to be that sludge and the fat and the grease has to be sucked out and desludged once a year. So you, you can ascertain how well they've maintained it by septic tank emptying receipts. All right, very important. So those septic tank emptying receipts <clears throat> will actually show you how often they've had it serviced or maintained so if though if they've only had it done once every five years once every three years once every 10 years then you know for a fact that the soak away is going to be in a poor state of health it's going to be in bad condition so let me explain why let's say you ate junk food all the time every day of your life right uh, you know for a fact that over time your arteries are going to be clogged up with cholesterol and it's the same with the soak away over time the arteries of the soak away will be clogged up, become clogged up with fat, grease and sludge. And so if they're not getting that emptied every year, you can go to them and say, look, building rig states that you should be emptying your septic tank once a year. Minimum. Because you haven't been doing that, we know for a fact that the arteries will become clogged up. So I want to put in a new soak away or I'm going to consider putting in a new soak away. A new soak away is going to cost me five, six grand, whatever. Uh, we need to renegotiate the price of your house based on the fact of your septic tank emptying receipts. OK, so it, it's all it's it all this is all reasonable and logic and it's saving you money. Right. It's saving you getting stung, It's saving you moving into a house where there's a problem waiting to happen. You know, so how often is it maintained or serviced? So let's say they've got a, a, a sewage treatment system, uh, an electric one. They need building reg states that electric sewage treatment plants must be serviced and maintained once a year by an approved um, servicer. So because an electric sewage treatment plant has got cogs and gears and pulleys and belts and, and motors and compressors and all kinds of mechanics and stuff like that inside it, right? If they're not serviced and looked after, like if we never serviced our car and took it for our yearly service, it would soon clog up and, and stop working. The same as a sewage treatment plant. They need to be able to show you receipts, right? They need to be able to show you. <laughs> I'm having trouble spelling again, hold on. Oh man, receipts, oh man. It's not a good spelling day today, but I'll, let me just try that again. Uh, okay, so they need to show you Receipts, right? I don't think I've even spelled that right, but you get the point. Um, maybe that's the new way to spell receipts. But um, if they can't show you receipts that they've had an engineer out every every year, twice a year, then you know that the sewage treatment plant is going to be in bad condition, in poor health. So these are the questions. These are typical questions that I would ask my solicitor to ask the people who own the house that I'm looking to buy. You will thank me for this, I tell you, because from these questions, you can ascertain the health of the sewage system that's connected to the property you're buying. So there you go. I hope that's helped you today. We've looked at questions to ask if you're buying a house with a septic tank. The next broadcast I'm going to do, which will be later or tomorrow, um, will be selling a house. If you're selling a house with a septic tank, right? 
and the people are asking you these kind of questions i'm going to show you oh i'm going to show you how you can bring your septic tank and sewage treatment plant or whatever up to scratch and how you can answer these questions in such a way where the people buying your house aren't going to knock you down 10, 15, 20, 25,000 quid. All legal and legit and above board. There's, 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 so if I was buying a house, these are the questions I would ask. If I was selling a house, right, I would be aware of the questions that the people are gonna ask me. Right? So there's certain things that I'd have to put in place and do so I could correctly answer these questions so I didn't have to reduce my house. So I've, I've been on both sides of uh, the fence on this one. So I hope this helps you. So as I said, if you want more information, then just go to septictank.co.uk where you get loads of more free videos. You've got Septic Tank TV. Just type in Septic Tank TV on Google and you'll find my Septic Tank TV channel there. And uh, I hope that's helped you. So listen, have a great day today. Thank you very much for watching this live broadcast and I'll speak to you soon.